Truly, truly an immortal vampire. Oh well, do his thing. Oh, now you aggro me? Sense. What am I hearing? Maybe it's the music. I'm hearing a, hearing a voice or something. Objective, get out of here. It has, a, it has a cannon. Some sort of... Oh, okay. So it's not a one shot deal, it's a multi shot deal. Fields. I'm not sure I how I feel about that. Uh we go, where'd he go? Oh. So the skulls still go can I shoot these skulls? So even if I'm not, if I, even if we look away, it's still. Please reload. I could interrupt that maybe, so it's not a shield, it's just a bright light. Oh, 
Oh, the skulls had arrived. This is a fun boss. I'm gonna try to interrupt his uh, flash bang, whatever that it is. Where's, where's it coming from? Electric shot on your six shooter. It's great for those skulls. Oh, I thought we had him there. Oh, what? I should have supercharged and not. All right, sir. Holy crap, that was all my HP. Someone sent in the cavalry. I've been hiding here for a week. This ain't a rescue mission, so watch your mouth. I'm here to pick up some documents for Assistant Secretary Harrow. Documents? I don't know anything about any documents. <sighs> oh, uh, these documents? You must be the accountant. Uh, Jonathan Q. Biddle at your service. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Harrow promised me immediate backup, as long as I kept this safe. Harrow's written you off, Biddle. Sent me for the case, not you. All I know is that DC wants that portfolio seized. DC? 
What an asshole. Harrow isn't trying to leverage this property for the government, you ate. He wants it for himself. He wrote me into this scheme for a cut of the profits, and now he's hung me out to dry. That asshole. How big a cut? 10%. Hope it was worth all those soldiers' lives, you greedy little pissworm. I'll take that. Whoa, 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 wait. What about me? How'll I get home? Walk. How'll I get home? Uh, that was a good... Turning the tides, my ass. <clears throat> More like lining your own pockets, you slimy shit. What the hell are you? Ah, Biddle. Oopsie daisy. Mm. You sent two dozen National Guardsmen to their deaths for a paycheck. When the president gets wind of this, you're a dead man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just that the way the veins in your forehead are throbbing, it's so <laughs> comical. Mr. Assistant Secretary, these accusations sound serious. And First of all, it's Mr. Secretary now. As in Secretary of War, as in the fucking right hand of God. Secondly, do you think the President of these United States is going to give a royal fuck about the pissant accusations of a podunk? <laughs> Go ahead, Rentier, do it. Give me a reason to throw your cowpoke ass in a new gate and flens your father's legacy to the bone. <laughs> The Harrow Institute has a much better ring to it, don't you think? Mr. Secretary, maybe it would be for the best if you... Maybe it would be best if you stopped interrupting me, you groveling mule! You want to make yourself useful? Get to the kitchen and fetch me a cup of coffee! Now fuck off and find some vampires to kill. That's much more your speed. Wow, that is... He is a, just a terrible human being. You want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Bunch of useless clowns. Ooh. All right, what's our 2600? Yeah, what was that thing we just fought? The Gaster. Gasters are flying maggot-like hybrids with tentacles. They were first sighted in central Maryland by the early German immigrants who colonized the Midtown Valley near the southern Mount South Mountains. Their main function is the protection of newborn foul bloods. Mr. Rentier, your father's waiting for you in the basement. Oh, is he feeling better? Let's see, do we take another quick turnaround here for stuff? Do you really feel war is coming? A full-blown war with the ticks? Your Dr. Blackwell deserves far more respect than those bureaucrats are giving her. So not much we can do until we get free of those paper pushers in DC. Yeah, well, I bet they wouldn't be so cocky if a tick came knocking on the White House door. Uh, probably not, but well, that would mean we failed. No one wants that. The news is spreading fast. Eyewitnesses reported several mutilated bodies in the woods near Kingston. That's what he said right before he died. Don't move. They'll hear you. And then they tore him apart. Fucking bats. Fucking plague. Fucking hell. Ah, damn. That hurt. Which is why we need to stay strong. It's like nothing we've ever witnessed before. A new age of empirism. That fucking hero needs to go. But how did you manage to experience longevity? 
the bright bolt and stat height and burn it out. It's all about the percentage of copper in the alloy. Yeah, I'll show you my notes. Seriously? I would love to see your original research. It would be an honor. Okay. Virgil and I were just having the most invigorating discussion. I was telling Director Rentier about my ideas for upgrading the gauntlet. Huh. I must say, it's refreshing to see young blood like Mr. Olney's coursing through Calico. We'll need his vital spirit if we're to rebuild the Institute's power and vigor. Well done, son. I think we may have given him a few too many vaults. I'm glad to see you're in good shape, but uh, we've got a situation. In order to keep your condition quiet, Amelia told Harrow you died. He's pulled rank and is sending us out on money grubbing errands while Felicity's building her army. Harrow's head knows what's right, but his heart is tainted by lust for power and money. Uh, it's gonna get worse now that he got promoted. One wrong move and we're dead in the water. The one right move, and you could catch her and end this war on the subject of moving. You know what? Maybe let's wait for the dog to give the all clear before we start unbinding anyone. Oh, Edgar. Harrow's not an idiot. Without the Institute, this country would turn into a blood feast. Now, you tell me, son. What's more important? His approval or ending this war before it started? What did you see while Felicity was in your head? Death. Death. Horrible monsters appearing out of nowhere. Fire, smoke, everything. And, and box cars. Scores of them. Filled with blood. That's how she's transporting the leeches now? By train? That's not good, sirs. Dickinson is a major cattle railway hub. The trains run in all directions. If there's an outbreak, we won't be able to contain it. All right, find a way to the train station. Oh, yes. Couldn't have waited till daylight, eh? Nice, nice moon there. That was a big moon. Jesus Christ, what happened here? Those cows? Dang. What cows? Shall avenge you. Oh, I imagine the smell. I swear I hear gas escaping when I hit the ground. Not every time, but like two thirds of the time. Hmm. Leeches. Or don't we come fully charged from the from base? I feel like that's a word to give us here. Oh, this looks like a fight. <laughs> Ah, 
How did I miss that? Do we just supercharge her right off the bat? Oh no. <sighs> Interesting. So we should interrupt their shots and avoid the cannon. Hey son, how's it going? Excuse me. I think I do this, and I think I go punch you many times. Oh, they just keep spawning. Answer is the big boy has to go, otherwise we're just gonna keep getting boss rush mode. No, this is just uh, this is just a normal battle. Things are getting intense. They're throwing, they throw in, they're throwing everything in the kitchen sink at you.
Oh, that axe. The face. Good. Yes, okay. Alright, kicks don't do anything. Good to know. <laughs> Give your daddy a hug. Gals. Uh, Gals are servant familiars who consume enough blood to understand the process of blood manipulation, also known as sanguokinesis. They use simple rituals and magic to make themselves incredibly fast, although Gals despise sunlight, it's not fatal to them. Often sanguisage use Gals to take on tasks that must be performed during the day. They don't pass a notice, however, as their twisted and scarred faces terrify the common folk. Zealots. Zealots like Gauls work hand in hand with the Sanguisage and are stronger and have more endurance than Gauls due to the mutation that has been bred into them. They guard the hideouts of their highborn masters and display an uncanny supernatural ability to quickly regenerate themselves after being injured. Yeah, they were kind of annoying. Yeah, that was that was a battle. And I actually did it first try too. Second try? First try. Second try? One or two. It was pretty good. Like was pretty good. Your cat is mountaineering. <laughs> I hear you, Felicity. Which way should we go? I see loot, so it means we go this way. Thirty-nine hundred. 